So here it is, my 993 art car is finally finished, but let's go back in time to see how the whole process was done from start to finish. This is how the car was when I first got it. Okay, so here I am with the 95993, and essentially a roll of quarter inch vinyl tape, and a couple of rolls of paper tape. So I just started essentially by pulling the line from the front of the car, sort of like this, all the way to the back. If you come around here, zoom on in. So my goal was to start at the front and have it come all the way around to the tail light. So I laid down that line first, did the bottom one, and then just went and grabbed the black tape and did a super random one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch on this side panel right here. Like I said before, I don't know how to work Photoshop or Illustrator, so I tend to do most of my stuff. All my cars have actually been, just been done with paper tape. And I think it's real easy to sort of get a visual reference as for the blocking. And what I kind of like about it is it's not asymmetrical. The left and right are not the same. And I kind of like it that way. What I like to do is sit down on my little craftsman stool right here and just essentially look at it from all angles, from above, from behind. And then of course, roll around, take a look at it from there, go up on the roof, take a look at it from there. I started out with the side and then I added some color to the roof. I basically kept the center stripe the same width as the hood and then played around with the roof a little bit and then sort of let it sit for a few hours and then came back to it. So for me, this whole process is super gradual. I kind of have an idea, it's color blocked, it's an art car, and I just keep building and building and adding and adding. For example, I thought the all black hood actually looked a little boring. So I actually added the stripe here at the bottom first and then added these side wedges, which sort of blended in to what's going on with the roof. And then I went around and added to the rear deck lid. So this is one of those things that I thought the black uh, tail was just a little overpowering and I wanted to bring that continuity all the way from the front to the back and funnel it into the whale tail. Now this is one of those things that always helps if you can get above to look at it. I'm also trying to minimize the big bumpers to shrink them down and then I had a little wedge on the door and then I'm doing the same thing on the front bumper trying to minimize these side skirts and epaulettes. So essentially that's the process really of just making it up as I go along. There is no Illustrator file, there is no Photoshop, it's just changed with essentially three colors of paper tape. So if I can do it, you can do it. Don't be afraid to get out and put some tape on your car. It visually changes it really quickly and really inexpensively. At this point, I've decided I'm going to change the front hood and get rid of that front nose stripe. I'm also going to add some stripes to the roof to make it a little more contrasty. From the front angle, it just looks like the hood is too short with all that color blocking. So I'm going to remove it and I think that's going to be the way it's going to end up. So this is what the front hood looks like sorted and then I decided to go in and add those black horizontal stripes to the roof to give it some flow. So there's a first time for everything and this is that time. I'm not painting the car so I need to find someone who can do the vinyl application. After a few quick calls I found the man Gino at Vaderworks. Okay what's happening homie? Tell me what's going on. I just sent the files stripe files over to the cutter so it's being die cutted right now and then after just need to peel it and transfer tape it all right so from the illustrator to the plotter what are you doing now so now this is just weeding out the extra the negative, the negative that we don't need weeding out is that a technical term weeding out? yes weeding well highly skilled professional right here we got pops helping out a bit. You see what you got going on here? Front fender, rear quarter, yes, early uh, camera. Of the passenger side. That's right. Like precision right there with the old uh, scalpel. <laughs> stripe on, stripe off. Alright, so transfer tape.
Can you do this on your own or do you need an assistant to make it easier for you? <laughs> I like having the assistant. Yeah. It's much, much easier, but... You guys are an effective team and a good looking team. All right, take two, take one, the first piece, right? Yeah. Came out nice. Laid down pretty smooth. It's much easier doing a flat piece. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You make it look so easy. Oh, what are you doing now? So right now I'm just laying the, the bottom pinstripe on for the rear quarter. Since it's so thin, it just gets a little twisted. So this is the easy way to make sure it's straight. So that's going to be your reference is. line? Yeah. And, and then you're going to butt up to that and trim back? Yep. Sounds like a plan to me. You feeling good about it, Trino? Yeah. It's laying up nice. Look at that laying up nice. Look at that little contour. Just butt it up to the reference blue tape line. Again, it's always super flat right there, all the way into the rear turn signal bucket. Want to tell us what you're doing here? So, I just got it um, transfer paper a little bit of wet so that it gives it a little bit of stretch and pull so I can lay these graphics. And then just squeeze them down. What type of vinyl is this? This is a Avery matte wrap vinyl, okay. vehicle wrap. Seems to lay down pretty smooth with no, uh, no air pockets right there. Yep. Very nice material. So this vinyl's got quite a bit of flexibility, stretchability here. Yes. Can you do this on your own or, or do you need a second person to, to hold and give you um, some assistance? It's a lot easier with a second hand sometimes on these big die cuts. But especially since it goes around the curve. All right, hair dryer's coming out. Can you get a big piece? Right here. Blade shot. Beard's looking good. Pose you, because if it was me and we'd be hacking in the background, I'd be like, can you guys you know, pipe down a bit? I'm trying to focus here. Right, Gina? You, you, gotta have a, yeah. you can't have a heavy hand, too. <laughs> you cut right through the, the existing blue vinyl. Yeah. Blue vinyl, all the bullshit. What are your thoughts? Are you happy with that? Yeah, laid out super nice. I guess after a hundred tries, should be perfect. Yeah, perfect makes perfect. <laughs> so as you can see, we laid down the side slope in three sections, starting from the rear. We had a lot of reference points and markers to make sure that it really laid down in the same position as the way that I mocked it up. And you see here, Gino is just basically applying it and getting it to lay flat. And then we're gonna peel it back off and work around the other side. Sometimes the old man joins in with a little spray bottle to give us a little bit of uh, stretchability to the vinyl to get it to lay super flat with no bubbles. So thanks for the helps, Pops. So as we started on the passenger side, that was our practice run. As you can see, the driver's side went a whole lot quicker. This side, we actually started from the front and worked backwards. Here, Gino's cutting around the door handles layering up the strobes. Now we got the old man helping out while we do the most tricky one, the rear quarter. Because with those contours going around the flare, it's not quite as easy as it seems to get it to lay flat, but. What you doing, homie? Uh, I'm putting the last sticker on. Oh, the Vader works. Look at that. What is that, a Star Wars thing? <laughs> it's my rap company. Okay. <laughs> is that like yo, 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 that type of rap? Yeah. Laying down some beats. That looks pretty good in yellow. I gotta give you that, fella. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, it's done. It's done, get it done. Massive thanks to the Vaderworks team of Gino, his girlfriend Taylor, and the old man Pops for doing an awesome job with the vinyl graphic application. Cheers, guys.